It's my August 2021 vinyl haul. Ahoy hoy everybody, another month has passed, it's time for another vinyl haul. As is mo mostly the case, it's a mixture here of stuff you've seen and stuff you haven't. So as usual I'll go through the stuff I haven't already shown first and then quickly whiz through what I have already shown during the month. Uh, so we've got, of the stuff I haven't shown, we've got one pre-loved and then a load of new. And the stuff I've, uh, I have shown is a mixture of pre-loved and new. So first up is the pre-loved I haven't shown. This was an eBay purchase. Um, I got fed up basically of waiting for one of my record stores to get a copy in. So I purchased Monty Python's Meaning of Life soundtrack. This was the last Monty Python album I needed on vinyl. Um, so this was an eBay purchase. 4 99 I think I paid plus postage. It is a gold stamped promo copy or demo copy in this case um, it's got a typically python -esque cover and it's that way up and then if you flip it around like that it's upside down so you'd have to hold it that way on CBS and I seem to recall yeah it's pretty much perfect okay then we have some new records so this is an album by entitled no, ignore that. It's an album by The Helicopter of the Holy Ghost and the album's called Afters. Um, so this... I should know more about this than I really do, to be honest. But I believe it's an album of songs written by Billy Reeves who... And I'm not entirely sure of the circumstances, but something happened to him which meant he couldn't fully um, materialise it, make it happen. So two of his friends joined him. Um, Crayola Lectern, I'm not familiar with, but my reason for owning this, Mark Morris of Blue Tones, joined him to record this album. So Mark sings... Uh, and I can't remember... Who does the others? I think it's on the inner sleeve, so we'll see in a minute. Anyway, um, so this is this sleeve. It's a nice matte finish, and rather than coming in shrink, it came sealed with a sticker, but it was quite an easy one to break without damaging. And then inside, uh, I bought this directly from a record company, which I think is the only way to get it. It's a climate neutral print product. Inside was a little art card of the painting on the sleeve. Uh, some advertising bump from the record company, including a, it's like the old days. Uh, yeah, Mark Sings, instruments played by Crayola Lecter and Billy Reeves, and Mark Peters appears on a couple of tracks playing guitar. But yeah, I haven't heard any of this. It's purely Mark Morris's involvement that made me get it. It's just on black vinyl. That's a lie. I think I did hear a snippet of one of the tracks. Next up is the new album by Will Young, Crying on the Bathroom Floor. So this 
album is an album of covers of songs written by and performed by female artists. And it's Will's interpretations of them. It's, I listened to the CD of it about two hours ago and it is really good, really strong. As you may know, I am a fan of Will Young's anyway. Um, so I bought the signed CD and this comes with a download code. MMV. I think this was a store exclusive turquoise vinyl, which is very pretty. Got that marbling through it as well. Acid Jazz have re released Matt Berry's first two albums on coloured vinyl. So we have them in order of initial release. Witch Hazel. So I have these on CD but don't have them on vinyl. Uh, this contains Take My Hand which was a theme tune to uh, Toast. Toast of London. And this is on caramel coloured vinyl. Just plain black inner. Yeah, it is an, uh, a deep caramel colour. You know, caramel goes through many colour stages, but this is definitely a deeper one. But very nice, and not a colour I have on any other record. And then Kill the Wolf, which is pressed on bottle green vinyl, facsimile of rare first pressing with gatefold sleeve and printed inner. Gatefold. The lyric in a sleeve. And the bottle green vinyl, which again is very nice. And then they also, in one of their emails, because I subscribe to their newsletter announced that they found a box of the rare blue vinyl copies of his live album which I didn't have on vinyl full stop um, I could have picked up a copy a slice of vinyl but that would be black vinyl so I leapt on it so this is Matt Berry and May Poles live one of whom is Mark Morris This has got their excellent cover of the theme from Sorry on here, which sort of launched the TV themes project. Nice gatefold. And just a plain inner. A nice translucent dark blue. Definitely a Mark Morris theme to this month's purchases. Oh, this came with a, it's got a download code as well on the back of there. More of which with the Mark Morris you'll see in a second. Um, but next we have the new album by Sean Ryder, his first solo album, uh, signed copy, purchased via his website, and I've got the CD signed as well. Visits from Future Technology. Haven't heard any of this yet, so can't comment on it. But like the Happy Mondays, big fan of Black Grape, particularly it's great when you're straight. Yeah, so interested to hear this. This also came, as well as the album being signed, the CD being signed, it also came with a signed print. So I only just noticed it's double sided. Uh, Polylined inner sleeve on white vinyl, which fits the album artwork very well. Only way it could 
sort of match it more as if they'd done a black and white splatter. But yeah, interested to hear what that sounds like. Okay, right, so back on the Mark Morris theme. A few months back, it was announced that uh, they were re-releasing to celebrate his 25th anniversary the Blue Tones debut album Expecting to Fly. At the same time re releasing a box set um, called Superior Quality Recordings which covered the first three albums. This is on CD. And then apart from the normal vinyl version there is going to be a vinyl box set of Expecting to Fly with a disc of the beat is basically replicating the first three CDs. Um, disc rep with B-sides and demos and then a disc, the Early Garage Years album that was released on CD a few years ago. And at the same time they would be re-releasing um, the second album, Return to the Last Chance Saloon. The third album which is covered in a CD box set was reissued two years ago, 18 months ago, something like that. So they don't need to reissue that. Um, so I ordered the CD box set on Amazon and was going to order the vinyl from Amazon but then Kieran at Slice of Vinyl put on Facebook he was accepting pre-orders. So I ordered the Expecting to Fly box set and returned to the Last Chance Saloon. The initial release was delayed because of all the delays that are happening with vinyl at the moment and then it was due to come out I think it was the first week of August on the Friday and day before I sort of messaged Kieran and said you know because he hadn't messaged me blue tones question mark um he hadn't got it yet it'd been a delay so long story shorter didn't come the following week they didn't even invoice him although he'd ordered it the usual, I think it's a week or two before they come out, you, they order, the record shops actually order them. Um, they still hadn't invoiced him sort of like over a week later. Eventually they invoiced him and took his money. But then uh, the two Matt Berry re-releases I got from him and I went and picked those up on the 20th, which I remember because it's a day I went to see the Blue Tones live. Um, and he'd got in, he'd had his delivery from the company that's released them. It's Demon Records, and I can't remember who he said were the people sort of who dealt with his side of it from Demon Records. Um, but he'd had problems with them before. My 40 Towers box set was over a week late from them, and that was Demon Records as well. Anyway, he'd had his delivery, but all he received was expecting to fly just the basic 25th anniversary edition not the box set um i think by this stage he'd sort of forgotten that it was a box set i ordered and i didn't mention anything so i bought from him the 25th anniversary reissue he'd been told by the company that they were out of stock of return to the last chance saloon and they'd have it in something like six weeks or something like that. So he tentatively kept the order, but he said to me, knowing I was going to see them, he said, if you can pick up a copy, if they're selling copies there, grab it, let me know, I'll happily cancel it. It will be a pleasure to cancel it, as you can see, this is on clear vinyl. There's a black vinyl advertised for this on Amazon, but I think it is the clear vinyl because on when Kieran was checking how much he was going to charge me for it it was listed as black vinyl on my website so I think there's sort of a mis misnamed clear vinyl and I can't get it back in there um, so this is literally just a remaster is it even remastered? I don't think it's even remastered actually but this is just a vinyl reissue of the album so I went to see Blue Tones in concert uh, they were still, when I got to the venue, as you may know, it was Blue Tones and Sleeper joint tour, co-headlining. 
Uh, when I got to a venue, all the sleeper merch had be, it was up, but I had all that already. Literally, I think I had everything they had for sale. <laughs> um, T-shirts and albums and posters, everything. But Blue Tones, they were still sorting out, so I never really had a look at that. Um, I did see a woman walking out at the end with expecting to fly on vinyl, so they probably had them. But as it was, I checked Amazon. Amazon still had them in stock for next day delivery. So I ordered Return to the Last Chance Saloon. And I also ordered the box set. Which I nearly <laughs> in the first place. Because, you know, I ordered it from Kieran. And then just after that, they announced that the Amazon version was an exclusive version with an extra 12 inch in it. Uh, oh, but I thought, no, I'll keep with Kieran. I was dithering over getting this as well, which is for box set, but as it is, this was the only version I needed to buy, thankfully. So this contains... LP1 is the album, LP2 is the A's and B sides, and then LP3 is the early garage years, and then this version contains a 12 inch with four demo tracks on, which were the four tracks that were exclusive in a CD box set that hadn't been released before. So inside we have a booklet which is basically just a large scale version of the CD booklet. Then rather than putting proper album sleeves in here they're basically just in inner sleeves but the inner sleeves are printed up to represent the albums which saves weight and packaging it's fine by me uh, an exclusive to the box set it's on blue vinyl so this is the a's and b's so they're uh contemporary a size that weren't on the album are you blue or are you blind which is actually a hidden bonus track on the cd of the album um, and Marblehead Johnson and then the rest are B-sides and again on blue vinyl so the early garage years which is a, a CD that was released so I think it might be even have been after they split 2007 it was released which I think was after they split um, and these are early demos basically and plus a couple of uh, limited edition 7 inch version of Slight Return that's different from the album version and an early version of Blue Tonic that was released on an EP but this has never been on vinyl before and again it's in blue and then exclusive to Amazon is this 12 inch which contains demos of Time and Again, Cuts and Rug and putting out fires. It was only three. I thought it was four, but it's only three. Um, on black vinyl. So apart from not being able to give Kieran as much money as I'd like to be able to give Kieran, it all worked out in the end. Because at the same time I ordered Return to the Last Chance Saloon, their second album. Which is very much an album of two halves. First half is magnificent second half by a couple of tracks not as good but this is a replica of the original with the saloon door fold out with the lyrics underneath and then this is on red vinyl Okay, so that is all the stuff that I haven't already shown. So next up is the stuff I have shown. And we'll start with the pre-loved stuff that I bought in Boscombe when I went to see the Blue Tones, continuing the theme. Um, so I went in two record shops. Uh, first one was Snoopy's. And I got Slade Alive Volume 2. If you want to see any of this in more detail, watch the relevant videos. Cat Stevens, Matthew and Son. Well respected kinks. Joni Mitchell, Ladies of the Canyon. Uh, Maze featuring Frankie Beverly. It's a 
bit of a tongue twister that one Eric Clapton no reason to cry uh, an album I already have on vinyl but this is a gold stamped promo with a hype sticker that I don't have Vanity 6 sadly no poster and then a German copy of James Bond's greatest hits James Bond the Grütze hits I think it's German anyway, I'm assuming it's German. It was printed in Holland though. It might be Dutch. I think it's German. Anyway. And um, then in Rose Red Records, I picked up Graham Central Station, Now Do You Wanna Dance? The World of Pete and Dud. Eric Clapton's Rainbow Concert Fame and Price, Price and Fame Together Mark Knopfler and Chet Atkins Next <laughs> Mark Knopfler and Chet Atkins Neck and Neck Walker Brothers Images and Alan Price's A Shout Across the Street and then finally two new ones that I did an unboxing video for so these are the last two versions of Prince's or the last version of Prince's new album Welcome to America plus the seven inch single I will quickly show you the vinyl on these because they are ever so pretty so the seven inch single is the album version of Welcome to America backed with a live version of the song Dreamer which he interpolated Welcome to America into limited edition of, of an amount that nobody knows uh, I have quite a high number 6516 number one has just sold for over 300 pounds um, and it's on a just beautiful gold vinyl there's a slight mark on mine that I thought was a scratch but it didn't affect play in any way and then in the last month's video I showed the black and clear vinyl this is the gold vinyl which was exclusive to Prince's own website um, I won't show you both discs but I'll show you the se second disc with the fourth side etching again just beautiful gold vinyl a really cool etching So there you go, those are my purchases for August, um, September, I've got a couple, yeah, couple I'm waiting him a post for, which should be here in the next few days, hopefully, uh, and then there must be some pre-orders, there's always some pre-orders, but I can't think of what they are at the moment. Um, and who knows out and about what I'll pick up. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.